How's it going, Jeremiah? Quite a lot of you has been asking me the question, is there a very big difference between a base level keyboard that does not have touch sensitivity and a slightly more expensive keyboard that is touch sensitive? So in today's video, I will be playing a couple of different instrument voices which have the exact same sample, the exact same sound found on two of this keyboard. Here we have the entry level Yamaha PSR E273, the cheapest PSR E series you can buy today. And here we have the flagship PSR E series, the E463. And we will be comparing if it actually makes a difference when it comes to touch sensitivity. I will be playing pretty much the same thing on both the keyboards so you can tell whether it makes very much of a difference. The other thing that affects the sound quality, even though both are using the same samples, is the amount of DSP that's applied on the sounds. And you can hear what difference it does when it's applied to the sounds right out of the box from the factory default. So I will be turning on the portable grand button on both this keyboard and let's have a listen. So that doesn't sound too bad on its own. So you realize that this is not touch sensitive. So no matter how hard I hit it or how softly I hit the notes, it's the same volume. But now let's listen to the exact same sound on the PSR E463 and let's see how much better that is. You can definitely hear it's a lot more expressive because I can play softly when I want to and I can play harder and it will sound louder. Also the DSP applied to it is a lot more higher quality and there's more DSP, a digital signal processing that can be done to the sounds so it definitely sounds way better. Now let's look at another example. This time I've loaded up a jazz guitar on both this keyboard and let's listen to how it sounds like uh, with touch sensitivity and with the different various DSP applied. Let's have a listen to the same tune on the E463 with touch sensitive keys and with the various DSP applied out of the box from the factory. The next voice I'll be showing you is the tenor saxophone. So the tenor saxophone on both this keyboard is literally night and day with the various DSP and the touch sensitive keys. So this is how the tenor saxophone would sound like on the E273. <laughs> and when you compare this to the tenor saxophone on the E463, <laughs> And with the use of the pitch band, you can hear the sound is literally night and day. And that is the reason why I have always encouraged my students to go for a touch sensitive keyboard rather than a non touch sensitive keyboard. The next thing that my viewers as well as my students always want to know is whether there is a big difference in the style quality because these two keyboards actually have quite a number of styles which are exactly the same on both keyboards and the difference in the instrument quality as well as the difference in the number of available DSP effects applied to the exact same style as you can hear in a while actually makes a pretty significant difference to the quality of the sound that comes up from it. So I will be setting up a bossa nova beat with a flute voice and here you can listen to it on the PSR E273. <laughs> 
273 with no touch sensitive keys and with a lot fewer DSP effects available. And if you're interested to learn how to play your keyboards, your PSR, Casio or Korg keyboards with various styles and chords and accompaniment, do check out my online course that you can sign up for below. Now let's have a listen to the exact same rhythm as well as the same melody with the same instrument on the PSR E463. Do you want to learn to play the keyboard with chords like this? I have a proven step-by-step -step course designed for Yamaha Casio and Korg keyboards that will help you to do that. At the end of this course, I will teach you everything you need to know to just open up a music book and start playing your favorite tunes with lush accompaniment rhythms with minimal effort. I will teach you to read music, play chords and use the different sounds and rhythms on your keyboard. Check out the links in the description below for more information. So what do you think? Is the difference in the sound quality between these two keyboards worth the price difference to you? In my own opinion these days, all keyboards should be made with fully touch sensitive keys but of course in the real world, people have different budget constraints. So do you think it is worth it? Let's discuss this in the comments below. My name is Jeremy C and I hope you enjoyed this video and it allows you to make a more informed buying choice and I'll see you in my next one.